Hello and welcome to English with Jimmy. And today we are going to talk about vocalized verbs, okay, and reported speech. Uh, verbs like say, tell, talk, and speak are very common actually and similar, and students get confused between when to use this and when to use say or tell or talk and speak. Uh, vocalized verbs, there's so many of them actually, as you can see from the list over here, okay? Say, tell, speak, talk, chat, express. Confess, announce, utter, reply, shout, mumble, declare, mention, and the list is long. You can uh, read it and uh, if you want. Uh, now we move on straight away to just a quick brief this com comparison between of them. Okay, say we use it for reporting uh, some something said. So we say Jackie said uh, something like she was free this evening. That's it. Jackie said there is no object here. So we we didn't say Jackie said to me or whatever, okay? While tell, we say to deliver information. So we can say um, uh, Jackie told me, we use an object, she was free this evening, okay? Um, when we, uh, we can use uh, in the same sentence, say, or we can replace it with tell, but we have to change something. We have to add an object. So... William said that he would be late home, okay? Or William told me that he would be late home. So said and told being used, but we've added me, which is an object. So we change some grammatical uh, uh, structure in the sentence, okay? Moving on to speak and talk. Uh, speak is formal and talk is less formal, okay? Example, uh, Jackie speaks four languages. We can't say Jackie talks four languages, all right? And talk is between friends, but as speak, when you speak, you speak formally. Like speak to someone about an important issue. You make a, a speech in front of lots of people. You are the speaker of the night, okay? As to um, uh, replacing speak with talk, it's the same. You just replace the word. There's no grammar change here at all. No grammatical structures change. We will speak about the plans for the holiday tomorrow. And we can say we will talk about the plans for the holiday tomorrow. Just replace speak with talk. Uh, in, in, in a bit more detail, say we use it to say words. And say, as we know, is an irregular verb. Say, said, said. Okay. Uh, examples, we can use it with present uh, simple or with past simple. I said or with... Uh, present continuous or present perfect, okay, or the future, future simple. Uh, we use say to, uh, when, we, when we use it, we don't use an object, okay, as we said before. We quote people when we use it, quoting someone said something, or we give instructions. Example will make it clear, or opinions sometimes. Here are examples. Kelly said she would be back soon, okay. Uh, the weatherman said it will snow tomorrow. Both are we quoting what they said, what Kelly said and what the weatherman said. I won't say this again. That is an instruction. Okay. Uh, will you please do your homework? Uh, when we are making an opinion or giving an opinion, I say we uh, should give each person 20 tickets each to sell. Here we give an opinion. So we use say for quoting people for uh, giving instruction or for expressing an opinion. Tell, uh, we tell information, okay? And tell is an irregular verb, tell, told, told, okay? Uh, we, we, some common words we use with tell is like tell me, tell the truth, tell a story, tell lies, okay? We, as with tenses, we can use it with present simple, continuous, future simple, past simple, present uh, 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 perfect, uh, very, very uh, uh, easy. We use tell, but we need an object after tell. So tell uh, me, tell him, tell, okay? And uh, we use it to say something to someone or uh, to give an order or instructions, okay? Um, examples, I told my daughter to brush her teeth. That's like some kind of an order or uh, instruction. Uh, the teacher told the students to do their, their homework. It's the same, like, like given an order here. 
And she forgot to tell me to bring my book. This is just like uh, just a conversation, two people talking, okay? Uh, to replace say by tell, as we said before, tell need an object and say need two plus an object, okay? The example we have here, Jenny told me, okay, told me told an object that, we use that as well, she would be late for school. To replace told by say, or so, so we see the same tense, okay, so past will be past. So Jenny said, and then instead of said me, we can't say said me. We need to say said to me. We added a, a preposition here, okay, that she would be late for, uh, for school. So that's the difference. So with tell, we, we have an object, tell me, and we say we have say plus two plus an object, all right? Uh, moving on to speak, uh, speak, we use it for formal conversation for someone who is a speaker or making a speech in, in, in an important meeting, okay? Uh, uh, it, speak is an irregular verb, speak, spoke, spoken. Some, we can sometimes speak up, use the word like speak up or speak with or speak to, I need to speak to you or I'm going to speak with, uh, with your teacher and so on. We use it with, as we said, tenses, different tenses, uh, present simple. Uh, continuous, future simple, past uh, uh, simple, and present uh, um, uh, perfect. Um, uh, we use it in, in a formal situation, as we said, okay? And uh, here are some uh, examples, like you can say, uh, give a speech is more formal than give a talk, which is true, okay? Uh, sometimes we say we need uh, to speak about your exams. Here we're using a preposition about, to speak about, okay, uh, which is much more formal, as I said, than uh, to talk about. Uh, Michael will be speaking at the international conference tomorrow. Here's, uh, let's say he will be a speaker making a speech. That's very formal, all right? Uh, we use speak to describe fluency of knowledge. So when we say she speaks four languages, uh, I don't know, German, French, English, and Spanish. It's not only she can speak the language, but she also knows a lot of information about them, okay? Talk, we use it for conversation. And talk is an, a regular verb, as you all know, okay? Talk, talk, talk. You just add ed. Uh, sometimes we say talk with, talk to, talk about, okay? Uh, the, the tenses that we use, we can say uh, uh, present simple, uh, uh, past uh, simple, uh, present uh, uh, perfect, and uh, present continuous and uh, future simple. So, so some examples. Uh, talk, we use it when we're talking among family and friends. Yes, okay. Very, there's no, it's not formal at all, all right? And uh, talk is more formal than chat. Uh, so examples here we say, sorry, who were you talking to? Okay. Just uh, very, very informal, actually. I was talking with my dad about my exam results. So you talk to your dad. You're not speaking or having a formal. He's not the headmaster or whatever. I love chatting with my friends over a drink. Chatting is less formal than talking. And talking is less formal than speaking, okay? Uh, when uh, it comes to using speak and talk, they are interchangeably. We can uh, replace each of them in a sentence without changing the grammar at all of the sentence. So I will uh, speak with, my, uh, with you about uh, this more uh, on Friday. Or you can say, I will talk with you about this more okay, on Friday. Uh, we can speak about uh, the new project tomorrow or we can talk about the new project tomorrow. We replaced uh, speak by talk and and we didn't change the grammar structure of the sentence, okay? Uh, while we're talking about uh, say and, and tell and speak and talk, it's important that we know the direct and indirect objects. It helps us to understand the reported speech, okay? Uh, I'm not going just to like read a lot of grammar stuff here to get, I'm just gonna go straight to the example, okay? Example, you see, Anne gave James cookies, okay? So, Anne gave James what? Anne gave James cookies. So, the cookies are the direct object, okay? 
Who received the cookies? It's James. So James is the indirect object. So Anne made the cookies, okay? So she, uh, so the cookies are the direct object, okay? And James received the cookies from, from uh, Anne. So James is indirect object. That's the difference between direct and indirect object. The example will make it clear. As I said, it's rather than just talking and saying direct object are the nouns or pronouns receiving the action, while the indirect object are the nouns or the pronouns affected by the action. But you can see from the example here, Anne gave James cookies. So Anne gave, gave what? She gave cookies. So that's the direct object, okay? And who received the cookies is James, who is the indirect object, okay? Is that clear? Uh, remember it because we're going to use it a lot after that in reported speech. I would like to uh, continue with this video, but the time is limited, actually. So uh, I think we're going to need another video, okay, to go more in details about say and tell and speak and talk and uh, comparison between them, okay, and give him more examples. It's just the time is uh, for the video. It's what restricts me. Because if we continue talking, uh, explaining the rest of the lesson on, uh, on this one, we'll probably, we'll, the, the video will be very long, okay? So uh, that just like a basic uh, introduction to uh, say, tell, speak, and, uh, and talk. And we'll, hopefully there will be another video to, uh, to explain more details about them. So just uh, uh, hopefully it will be soon coming soon. Okay. I, I, I thank you. I thank you.